We are right here at the 119th annual session of PhD CCI. PhD CCI, as we know, has been making uh, and marking a catalyst for promotion of Indian trade and entrepreneurship as we look forward to celebrating yet another day with our all new theme of Vixit Bharat by 2047, marching towards the peace and progress. And we look forward to each of you taking home some fantastic key takeaways, not just making friends and relationships, but building on strength by strength. Aaj PhD CCI ke 119 annual session par aap sabhi ka swagat karna chahenge. Aur aye, Deep Prijlit Karkar, Aaj ki ek shub shurvat karen. And please extend a very warm welcome to Shri Sanjeev Agrawalji, President, PhD CCI, to join us and extend a very warm welcome. It is my great honor and privilege to welcome all of you to the 119th annual session of PhD CCI. Today marks yet another milestone in the legacy of this institution, a proud moment that stands testament to our enduring commitment to fostering growth, innovation, and collaboration across industries. Shri Amisha's leadership has empowered India to scale new heights in every sphere, be it security, economic reforms, or cooperative governance. Respected colleagues, as we gather here today, we celebrate not only the past achievements of the PhD CCI, but also the huge opportunities that lie ahead. This year, we focus on fostering deeper collaboration that support India's journey towards $5 trillion economy in the near future and Viksat Bharat by 2047, enhancing ease of doing business and positioning India as a global leader in innovation, sustainability, and inclusivity. Honorable Home Minister, your presence today is a source of great encouragement for us, and we are grateful for your enduring leadership. We eagerly look forward to your address, and we are confident that your words will inspire and energize us to meet the challenges of the future and greater determination and resolve. We welcome you to inaugurate our 119th annual session, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Aaj, in the और मुझे कहते हुए हर्ष है कि ऐसे समय पर पीएचडी चैंबर के वार्षिक सत्र में मैं उपस्थित हूं क्योंकि जो वर्ष भारत के औद्योगिक जगत के लिए बहुत निर्णायक वर्ष बनने वाला है ऐसे समय में मैं आपके सामने आया हूं विकसित भारत 2047 के रेफरेंस में उन्नति के शिखर की ओर अग्रसर बहुत उचित ही विषय आपने सिलेक्ट किया है मित्रों हमारे सामने प्रधानमंत्री जी ने दो लक्ष्य रखे पूरे देश के सामने 2047 जब देश की आजादी की शताब्दी मनाई जाएगी भारत पूर्ण विकसित राष्ट्र के रूप में दुनिया के सामने खड़ा हो और दूसरा 2027 तक हम दुनिया की तीसरे नंबर का अर्थतंत्र बनकर दुनिया के अर्थतंत्रों की तालिका ये दो लक्ष्य को सिद्ध करने के लिए अनेक विद प्रयास, अनेक विद पॉलिसी और अनेक विद प्रोग्राम लेकर मोदी जी 10 साल से लगातार प्रयास कर रहे हैं। इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर का विकास, भारत को दुनिया में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग का हब बनाना, इन्वेस्टर फ्रेंडली इकोसिस्टम खड़ी करना। स्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स का निर्माण करना, रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट अनुसंधान को प्रोत्साहन करना, एडवांस कंप्यूटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी जैसी सभी टेक्नोलॉजिकल क्षेत्र में इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी में भारत को पायोनियर बनाना, ये सारे सेक्टर में आज से ही भारत पायोनियर लीडर बने इस प्रकार की नीतियों का निर्माण करना। ढेर सारे काम एक दूरदर्शी नेता के रूप में उन्होंने किए हैं पॉलिसियों का निर्माण भी किया है और पॉलिसियों को इंप्लीमेंट करने के लिए जो सातत्य चाहिए वो सातत्य का भी परिचय किया है मैं पीएचडी चैंबर की इस वार्षिक सभा में आप सबको अनुरोध करने आया हूं 
अब हमने छोटा नहीं सोचना चाहिए साइज और स्केल दोनों बदल दीजिए कंपनियों को ग्लोबल बनाइए और विश्व भर में भारत का दबदबा फैलाने के लिए हमारे चैंबर्स निर्णय करें हमारे उद्योजक निर्णय करें ये बहुत जरूरी है As we move forward, we are now joined by two industry leaders who we look up to. I would like for all of you to please put your hands together as we are honoured by the kind presence of Sri Sunil Kant Manjalji, Chairman Hero Enterprises. Let's also hear a round of applause for yet another visionary, Sri Sanjeev Bhik Chandani Ji, Founder and Executive Vice Chairman in Four Edge India Limited. Please do put your hands together. This session will be moderated by Ms. Shruti Mishra, Deputy Editor, CNBC TV 18. let me start with the both of you uh, with a very broad question as india aims to achieve the peak of progress by 2047 what are some of the key factors that both of you see would drive this growth momentum mr manjali if you could start first for india to to develop all of india needs to grow not just the top of india so which means geographically all of india needs to go grow demographically all of india needs to grow all the rural parts of india needs to grow which is where the big challenge lies right now and uh, one i think we need to embrace technology truly as as a tool the second thing i think is we need to ensure that women which are the much smarter half of our population are actually given the room that is that they need and deserve absolutely mr big chandan you agree with him absolutely I'm 61 now when I began working straight out of college in 84 Charles Sanog uh and I look at the landscape of business uh, in India then and now there's a sea change it's very different so you look at uh, you know mobile telephony did not exist you look at uh, you know IT IT services barely existed IT enabled services did not exist internet did not exist uh, in you know e-commerce did not exist Uh, Hero Honda, you know, the motorcycles did not exist, right? Uh, or barely, right? Uh, so you know, so you look at it. Uh, every over a forty-year period, things change a lot. It doesn't happen in one day. It's not a revolution; it's an evolution. But it's time for me to now put you guys on the spot and do a quick rapid-fire round. My first question on the rapid-fire round: If you weren't a founder, chairman, what would you be doing? An alternate career, Mr. Munjad. Hmm. A creative person, I think. A creative person. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'd be a teacher. Uh, when I was started as an entrepreneur, I, I had yeah. no money. I was broke, and for seven years or eight years, I was a visiting faculty at several management schools around Delhi, and I really used to enjoy it. Describe your working style in one word. Motivational. Motivational. Yes. Hmm. Sanjeev. Uh, I like to delegate and empower, because uh, that reduces my workload. Funniest or the weirdest thing you've heard about yourself? which is obviously not true everybody complains when i speak too fast they can't understand what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> so what's the one thing people would be surprised to learn about you that perhaps they don't expect when they meet you that i can sing we should make him sing <laughs> uh, boy, okay. so ever since i lost my hair <laughs> and only this much remained and i stopped going to the barber i give myself a haircut at home it saves time and money <laughs> so i just i just, i bought a clipper and i just want a clipper <laughs> all right what's the best piece of advice you've ever received plan conservatively operate aggressively that was a piece of advice i'd received which i'm hmm. actually practice uh, myself extensively wonderful sandeep uh, so when we raised our first round of capital and actually only round of capital when you are private this is in the year 2000 create situations of convergence of interest not conflict of interest conflict of interest is a bad idea hmm. right and we had a, st- a structure in the company where you know uh, there was a possibility that the investor would lose while we would win so it's fixed that what is the one missed opportunity that you wish you could have a second chance at 12 years ago i decided i'm only going to do things i enjoy hmm. preferably with people i like because that's not an opportunity you get every day and i have been so blessed that i think um, on occasion after occasion I've, i've i've been able to do things because we are we are in a unique position you can say no to things yeah there's a very small percentage of people on this planet who can say no 
And that's why I think it's also important that we realize how blessed we are. If I could, I'd like to be young again and go back to <laughs> and, and go back to school, uh, and focus a little bit more on playing cricket. Okay. Because I had a half decent China man, mm. but I never focused on playing cricket. I focused on my studies only. So I would have maybe got coaching and try to be a better bowler. One final question for the rapid fire: If you could have coffee with any icon, historical figure, who would it be? I have had lunch with uh, Warren Buffett, so that would have been one. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I, uh, I had an interesting lunch uh, with him. The one would be interesting is to get into the mind of of Mahatma Gandhi. He would be is a fascinating character, actually. You know, I thought of the same person uh, when you asked the question. Okay. Uh, of course, my sustenance would be because I don't think he drank coffee, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think Mahatma Gandhi was truly remarkable. Uh, the whole concept of uh, somehow getting independent independence through non-violent struggles. Wow. Uh, thank you so much, both of you, for being so candid and for your valuable insights. It was an absolute honor and pleasure talking to the both of you. Thank you so much. It was a very interactive session with Mr. Amit Shah ji. He gave a lot of visionary ideas to us how to take our country for the PM's initiative of to Vixit Bharat 2047. We are the oldest chamber of commerce in India. Almost, we have been there for 120 years now. Uh, the idea here was that we were saying first, the, the first word we had last year was hey samay, sahi samay. The time is the right for India. But now we are moving towards Vixit Bharat. I think the government, the industry, the people all are looking forward to make India a fully uh, Vixit Bharat by 2047. Without Vixit Bharat, the youth of India, population of India, citizen of India cannot really progress. And uh, for that, a lot of initiatives have been taken by the government to start with road, uh, highways, uh, bridges, railway, uh, not to forget this uh, internet facilities, uh, electrification, water, everything has been done. When India will progress, India will become Vixit, India will become Powerful. Vixit Bharat uh, uh, is a mission uh, and also the ambition of India to be a developed country by 2047. Uh, this is a journey where uh, we are very fortunate to be part of this journey. And Vixit Bharat is not only the vision of Honorable Prime Minister of India, it is the vision of the industry of India, it is the vision of each and every citizen of this country. May I please request all of you to put your hands together as we now get to hear from Sri Arjun Ram Meghwalji, Minister of Law and Justice. Swami Vivekananda, Michigan University, a lecture So, he said, I am going to Within 50 years, I am going to be able to do 95 एडली लेबर पार्टी का होता है वो अपने मैनिफेस्टो में ये लिखता है कि मैं अगर जीता मेरी पार्टी जीती तो भारत को आजाद कर देंगे लेकिन 45 में एडली आ गया आते ही उसने कहा नो हम इंडिया को आजाद करेंगे तो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि परिस्थितियां बनी और देश आजाद हो गया स्वामी विवेकानंद जी की भौतिकवाणी सही हुई ना भाई दूसरी भौतिकवाणी कि काल मार्क्स के जन्म के ठीक 100 साल बाद 1917 में रशिया में एक क्रांति हो फिर फिर उसके ठीक 100 साल बाद 2017 जिस थॉट को लेकर कॉल मार्क्स चला था वो थॉट धीरे-धीरे समाप्त हो गया 1917 में रशिया में क्रांति हमने देखा जार के शासन के विरुद्ध क्रांति तो स्वामी विवेकानंद की दूसरी बोलते बने उसे ही तो मैं फिर आपको कह रहा हूं कि स्वामी विवेकानंद ने 1895 में कहा कि मैं तीन भविष्यवाणी कर रहा हूं दो भविष्यवाणी सही हो गई 
तीसरी भी सही होने वाली है हम कहना चाह रहे हैं कोई शक नहीं होना चाहिए ये सभी एशिया की होगी और भारत उसका नेतृत्व करेगा अपने इस अगले भाग में इन इंडस्ट्री लीडर्स को सम्मानित करना चाहेंगे ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ पी एच डी सी सी आई वीड लाइक टू नाउ बिगिन विद द बिजनेस एक्सलेंस अवार्ड एंड आई लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट आर गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर टू प्लीज प्रेजेंट द सेम टू आर वंडरफुल इंडस्ट्री लीडर्स वीड लाइक टू बिगिन विद आवर फर्स्ट कैटेगरी विच इज दैट ऑफ पी एच डी सी सी आई आउट स्टैंडिंग ऑन्टरप्रन्योर अवार्ड जनरल कैटेगरी मे आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल वी प्लीज बुट योर हैंड्स टूगेदर एज आई वेलकम मिस्टर निखिल चंद्र गुप्ता चेयरमैन and managing director pyal polyplast at private limited to please join us on stage it is now time for us to move forward and present to you phd cc i's outstanding entrepreneur award in the msme category please welcome mr ajay katyal ceo and director of nature pearls private limited to join us on stage a round of applause for our winner Please put your hands together as we now appreciate PhD CCI's Outstanding Businesswoman Award, Mrs. Sujul Shah Shade, Director, New Age Firefighting Company Limited. now presenting the organization the phd cci outstanding contribution to social welfare award goes to maruti suzuki india limited please do put your hands together We've now come to a point where we'd really like to acknowledge an individual who is much respected in the fraternity. You all know what I'm talking about. Yes, indeed, it is the PhD CCI Lifetime Achievement Award. Please put your hands together for Shri Ashok Kajaria Ji, Chairman and Managing Director, Kajaria Ceramics Limited, joining us here on stage. May I request our audience to once again please put their hands together as I present you Dr. Garma Sane, Mr. Varun Alag, Mr. Aditya Ghosh, Mr. Ishpreet Singh Gandhi. It is such a pleasure and delight to have all of you join in. And I'd like to request Ms. Shruti Mishra to please kick start the panel discussion. It's lovely to be moderating a panel that has founders who have turned their passions into self-run businesses. So let's understand how they envisioned it, executed it. Ishwit, you set out with a clear mission of solving the credit gap problem while starting Stride Ventures in 2019. How much of that goal have you achieved so far? If you could take us to the vision at Stride and the kind of growth you've seen so far. Born in UP in Kanpur and oh. uh, just came to Delhi, did schooling, graduation, the typical journey, post-graduation, came into campus and we came, came to banking directly in Standard Chartered. I started my career and then worked there. And in, interestingly, what I understood was that most of the first generation businesses do not understand finance. Mm. My dad did, did a business, he did a small business, then he grew that business and understood that gap in the family as well. That if I had supported in time, that financial outcome could have been different for the business. So I think that that uh, that thing remained. So in 2000 and after, in 2014, I started doing startup financing in banks. Mm. I started uh, this vertical to fund a lot of companies like Revigo, um, Bira, um, lending cards, so various kind of sectors, Shruti. And from there, I realized that there is a massive gap. Ultimately, it's it's capital. Yeah. It's called as venture debt, but there's, it's fungible. Yeah. You use equity, ke liye use karo, aap debt, ke liye use karo, aap working capital, ke liye use karo, capital to capital. And mm. the right time is important. So I think that void which banks had, which traditional lenders had, we, th we thought let's create a structure which is kind of different in nature. Huh. When you say about credit cap, credit gap is nothing but unlocking कि कस्टमर से पैसा नहीं मिल रहा आपको आप कस्टमर का इनवॉइस डिस्काउंट कर दो पैसे दे सो आई थिंक दैट दैट यूनिकनेस ऑफ क्रेडिट व्हिच बैंक स्टार्टर्स मेड अ स्लाइटली यूनिक फॉर स्टार्टअप्स बिकॉज स्टार्टअप्स में वो ऑफरिंग नहीं थी करेक्ट स्टार्टअप इज ट्रेडिशनल राइट यू रेज वेंचर कैपिटल मनी यू रेज प्राइवेट इक्विटी मनी यू डिप्लॉय वाइल डूइंग डेट यू कैन टेक द यू कैन कम ऑन द टॉप ऑफ इक्विटी इन्वेस्टर्स है ब्रांड एंड आईपी आल्सो सो यू मोर प्रोटेक्टेड देन इक्विटी इन्वेस्टर्स एंड देन यू कैन एक्सपैंड द बिजनेस फॉर सेम रीजन सो विद दैट कांसेप्ट स्ट्राइड हैपेंड एंड वी आर क्लोज टू नाउ 8000 crores of financing in India 
Garima, you recently launched Pristine Care Innovation Lab, which is like an incubator designed to, you know, drive advancements in artificial intelligence in the within the healthcare sector. Elaborate on how it will provide early stage AI startups a platform to pilot and refine the solutions in real world health problems. See, we are talking about Vixit Bharat, yeah. and we are we in one of the agenda of that is you have to empower youth. And I would say AI is future, youth is future, mm. healthcare in India is a future, you know, and that is what we understand. If we just talk about AI and healthcare, I think healthcare needs AI and AI also needs healthcare. Yeah. You know, a lot of innovations can happen. So what, what we have seen that there are a lot of aspiring youths who want to get into AI healthcare startups. So pristine care is a platform which is going to empower them by the uh, knowledge or expertise which we have. We we can actually be a platform for them where they can actually experiment on the real patients. Okay. You know, we can give provide them with the data of patients, of keeping anonymous patients' records and everything. But this particular platform can give them real sense of everything. Uh, Varun, you know, you take us through Mama's journey to list to getting listed finally and how significant do you really think it is for young companies like yours uh, to go to market within like a decade of inception? Well, I think the, the journey was, uh, of course, uh, very interesting. Um, the the thought of getting listed, I think, is is almost like thinking about the next stage of graduation in your journey. Right? Um, you you start with one type of capital, which could be angel or you know early stage capital, right? Um, you end up raising uh, venture or late stage capital, right? Um, and if you are a venture funded company, right? then you know ninety percent cases, right? uh, you will either need to go for an IPO to provide exit to your investors, right? or you will need to um, you know, do a strategic way. Right? We were very clear that we wanted to run this company for decades and hence strategic was never an option for us. Right? Uh, we wanted to build it. Right? Uh, but yes, during that time and stage when we started feeling that now we're getting to the level where we're feeling confident about how the business will shape over the next five to seven years. Right? Um, and uh, um, the scale was also at a level where it was interesting for the public markets to look at us. Right? Uh, is when we started planning and uh, I think it's been an interesting journey. All right. Thank you, Varun. Thank you, Garima. And thank you, Ishpreet, for your valuable insights. It was an absolute pleasure talking to the all three of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.